Good afternoon to you, Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com, here with your hurricane outlook and discussion for Saturday, July 14th, 2018. This will be fairly quick today because there's just not a lot to talk about, but we do have Beryl back from the dead, as it were, a subtropical storm. I'll show you what that means in just a minute. Top winds only 40 miles per hour, the pressure not very low, very uh, minimal system, probably won't even impact the ocean too much, maybe contributing just a little bit more in the way of swell coming off of it towards the coast here, but nothing like a hurricane would do, obviously. This is the track over the next few days, again, towards Newfoundland with the remnants of this system as it becomes post-tropical. So maybe some more rain and gusty winds for that area. Uh, deja vu. First it was Chris, now the remnants of Beryl. And it's really kind of interesting, you know, Beryl started off as a strong tropical wave, became a tiny little hurricane down deep in the main development region. A lot of hoopla made of it, rightfully so. And now here it is up in the North Atlantic to the north of Bermuda. And it'll continue on for the next few days. Quite a legacy that it has had for itself. Luckily, the impacts overall will be on the low side, so that's good. Still, though, a high threat of rip currents for areas along eastern North Carolina, I noticed. So just in general, until the seas kind of calm down from all of this activity that we have had, take it easy out there. Let me just show you real quick an example here. Go to weather.gov and you just click on any of these areas along the coast I'll select southeast North Carolina since this is where I live and you can see there's a rip current statement there that sort of bluish color sea green whatever high rip current risk in effect and uh, there's also a coastal flood advisory and uh, now part of this is because of the astronomical tides the new moon that we have just gone through uh, very close in its orbit to Earth relative to where it usually is. Don't worry, it's not that close, but um, it is a sort of a super new moon. You, know, you hear about the super full moons. Well, this new moon was, was closer. Uh, the way that the elliptical orbit of the moon is, it just happens to line up that it was you know closer. I don't know by how many miles. I'm not an astronomer. <laughs> I keep up with that a little bit, but Nevertheless, these astronomical tides are higher, and then on top of that, we have the swell still prevalent in the ocean, and uh, the surf height there, you know, three to four feet. So, you know, bottom line, going back here, check your area uh, along the east coast here, just to make sure you know what's up. Hey, also look out west, all kinds of flood watches, uh, even some flood warnings as the monsoon moisture remains active in the southwest. Hopefully, at the first part of August, I will be heading out there. It's just going to depend on the pattern and whether or not this repeats itself, but uh, quite a lot of moisture in the western part of the U.S., and as such, uh, from parts of the Rockies here and into the desert southwest proper, and then even up into parts of the Great Basin, you're getting some flooding, and that's very, very fascinating to me. And hopefully in early August, I can spend five days out there uh, with a colleague of mine from Houston and we'll see more on that later wish I was out there now but I can't so we'll just have to wait anyhow moving on this is a visible satellite animation courtesy of tropicaltidbits.com and you can see some convective activity near the center of circulation but it's also sort of a large expansive wind field and cloud cover there's some upper level energy from uh, the atmosphere kind of involved here, so it's got a few extra ingredients in this. You know, I talk about that analogy in a previous video or two of getting the ingredients together to bake chocolate chip cookies. Well, if you have your normal run of the mill garden variety, nice, you know, six inch in diameter chocolate chip cookie, it has the usual ingredients, including chocolate chips, right? Some people like to add raisins or oatmeal or walnuts, which I think is all disgusting, but that's just me. And so barrel is kind of like your disgusting chocolate chip cookie with walnuts and raisins thrown in because it's got all these other things happening with it. So you've got the, the deep convection, uh, the warm core signature, yes, 
And there's your basic chocolate chip cookie, but you also have some atmospheric processes uh, interacting on this side, and then this sort of frontal structure. And so it's a mix, it's a hybrid. Subtropical storm it forms from atmospheric and ocean processes. Is that a word? Processes, processes in the North Atlantic, more subtropical in nature. It's more of a definition of where it's forming. Like you'll never see one of these form down in the main development region, put it that way. This is more of a warm nor'easter. Look at it like that. I'm just going to give up. <laughs> it looks better here, though. This better defines it. You see, there's barrel there, and it's not all by itself, round, and wrapped up like we saw with Chris. And here's some, and you can see this uh, little bit of jet stream energy, even though this is a moisture, precipitable moisture. You can tell, you know, there's some upper level energy here on the northwest side, and it's got sort of this frontal connection. Anyway, it's a mixed up chocolate chip cookie. All right, tropical waves, very strong here, very strong here, another one over here. A lot of talk about how strong these waves are and what they're doing to the main development region and the overall AMO pattern, the Atlantic Multidecadal Oscillation. Fancy way of saying how all of this region through here, uh, sea surface temperature wise, has been much colder than average. Talked about that a lot, and we will revisit it much more starting on Monday when the new set of data comes out, the new NOAA NESDIS chart and others, and uh, we'll start really getting into that in the week ahead. But for now, yep, these strong, robust, uh, and very high amplitude. I mean, these are not weak little paltry systems. Uh, they keep coming off, and you know, a month from now, we're really going to have to start paying attention. You think about that, 30 more days of watching this before the lid even has a chance to come off, but that's the natural progression of things. And, you know, look at where we are already. We've already had three named storms. Two of them have become hurricanes, one of those a cat too. So, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? All right, looking at the next five days, 850 millibar chart. Uh, first of all, let's get rid of this, go back, slide down. This is the signature of the tropical wave coming off of Africa now and it's very well defined. This is the other one not as defined. They lose their energy and their identity as they move across this still rather hostile environment through here mainly in the atmosphere as we've talked about the water temperatures are certainly warming up. There's the signature of barrel and this is what we call the vorticity or the spin in the atmosphere and you remember Chris, Hurricane Chris? I think that's the remnants of it up there as a powerful North Atlantic extratropical cyclone, you know, it's the type you would see way up in the northern latitudes. So let's put all this into motion now that we have the players. There's your tropical wave energy, there's barrel, and it comes up here scraping by Newfoundland, and then it kind of just gets absorbed into the westerly wind flow. Very strong overall high pressure sitting out over the Atlantic here. Troughiness along the east coast, and if this pattern exactly as it is stays in place through September uh, anything that develops out here will just recurve but you know patterns don't stay and there's indications in the very long-range guidance when you're looking at the larger puzzle pieces that we will get much higher pressures up here uh, than we're seeing as of late so this low pressure pattern will transition into more of an anomalous high pressure up over northwest parts of the Atlantic Basin and Southeast Canada, uh, what some people call the Newfoundland wheel, uh, you know who those some people are, and that's further down the road though. It's just interesting how things, it's almost like everything's moving towards a, a conclusion here that we've got all these pieces coming together, and when we get to late August through September, we'll see what happens, but it's looking less and less likely that it'll be a below average season with not much activity. Just, we'll just leave it at that. All right, I said it was gonna be short, so I'm gonna shut up before I start rambling about something. We'll have plenty to ramble about next week, believe me. Um, probably take tomorrow off and just chill, you know, work on some things. I'm building all these GoPro cases, uh, got six of them. <clears throat> and literally it's the GoPro, I know they come with their own little housings, but that doesn't run for 26 hours. <laughs> 
So I have to have I have to have them modified, and I'm working on that. I do all that, and then I put them inside these little pelican boxes that we used to use for our live cameras that were smaller. And anyway, I'm recycling those boxes, and you have to put this sealant on there. It takes about a week for that stuff to cure, and everything has to be done exactly right. Got these little tiny bolts I got to put in to put the lens on the top of the box, and all that takes time, and you got to be real careful with it so that when you put it out in a hurricane it doesn't fail duh so that's what i'm working on i think i'm gonna do that a lot tomorrow and then i'll be back monday all right so everybody take sunday off and enjoy yourself all right i am mark sudduth hurricane track.com i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my saturday and then do something fun tomorrow a little work in, in, interspersed in there too and then i will be back monday thanks for tuning in we'll talk again starting the early part of next week